The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle is credited for saying that man is by nature a social animal. He believed that no human being can live on his own, or that if someone can, then he is not man, but either a beast or a god. Society therefore is something man naturally creates. But why, what is society, and what is its role in human life? In this video, we will try to answer these questions by discussing the following topics. What is society? What are the different forms of society? And how does society influence human development? What is society? Society is generally defined as an organized group of people, whose members interact frequently and have a common territory and culture. In philosophy, the question, what is society, has been a topic of much inquiry since the modern period. The British Enlightenment philosophers Thomas Hobbes and John Locke for example, asked about society's origin, nature and justification. In answering their questions, they formulated what is known as the social contract theory. According to the social contract theory, society is essentially a contract. It is a contract an individual enters into with other human beings, in order to achieve a common goal, or what is called the common good, which could be survival, peace, well-being, etc. In doing so, they surrender or delegate some of their self-interests, freedom and rights, and create institutions such as the government, police, hospitals, etc. in order to help them achieve the common good. Just like any contract, the social contract also has conditions, these are society's laws, which the contracting parties are expected to observe. Observance of these laws helps promote the common good, while non-observance results in punishment by the tasked social institutions. The Different Forms of Society Throughout history, human beings have developed different forms of society. These different forms were their response to their changing needs and environment, as well as the result of their growing knowledge and technology. The earliest recognized form of society is the hunting and gathering society. This form of society was very simple. It was nomadic, meaning it had no permanent territory because it was in constant search of food. It was small in size, composed mainly of families. And its members treated each other equally, while decisions were based on consensus. The Pastoral Society The pastoral society was characterized by the domestication of animals for food. As such, it had a more stable and predictable food supply. It was larger in population, stayed in one place for a longer time, and had specialized social tasks. It often produced surplus food and resources which it traded with other societies for survival. The Horticultural Society The Horticultural Society primarily engaged in the small-scale cultivation of plants, fruits, and vegetables, and the domestication of animals. It was semi-nomadic, it traveled from one place to another after depleting the resources of a particular place. Its roles or responsibilities were more defined with tasks assigned according to gender. Women did the domestic work, while men farmed and hunted. The Agrarian or Agricultural Society The Agrarian Society was an evolution of both pastoral and horticultural societies. It involved the large-scale and long-term cultivation of crops and the domestication of animals. It was characterized by improved technology and the use of tools for farming. It had a larger population and a more structured social system that helped manage its members and resources. Because of this, it also had conflicts with neighboring societies over land and resources. The Feudal Society The Feudal Society originated in Western Europe during medieval times. It is a form of society that is based on the ownership of land. Rulers, or feudal lords, grant their followers, or vassals, the right to manage parcels of their land. These vassals in turn, are served by peasant workers who cultivate their land and animals. In return for the peasant services, they are provided military protection. Members of this form of society are based on status, while social relations are characterized by dependence. The Industrial Society the advances in science and technology during the late 18th century resulted in the Industrial Revolution, which in turn gave rise to the Industrial Society. The industrial form of society is based on the use of specialized machinery in the production of goods and services. 
Work in this society is mainly done in factories or companies, while capitalists and business owners are its most influential people. It is characterized by hierarchy or bureaucratic organization, cultural diversity, and inequalities in wealth, influence and power. The Post-Industrial Society Led by the human mind and aided by even more advanced technology, the trend after the Industrial Revolution shifted from industry to the generation, storage, manipulation and sale of information. As such, the post-industrial society, also known as the virtual society, is marked by the establishment of information, knowledge, and the sale of services. In this society, information is essential, an important commodity, since it is able to influence people's behavior. Members of the post-industrial society have higher educational attainment, received better training, and have specialized roles in society. How Society Influences the Development of Human Persons The individual human person and the society are intimately related. As they say, you cannot think of a person outside of society, and you cannot think of a society without persons. Just as we can influence society's progress with our actions, so society is able to influence our development as human persons. One of the fundamental ways society does this is through norms, or the set of traits and behaviors that it considers acceptable. Social norms help human persons in their development and establish order in society. They do so by regulating human behavior and interactions. When members of a society do not conform to its norms, they can experience negative consequences, such as shame or even punishment. Examples of norms are laws and folkways. Laws are more formal and stringent norms that establish and define acceptable behavior of citizens. Examples of laws are not harming other people, not stealing other people's property, etc. Laws also prescribe the consequences and penalties for those who violate them. Folkways on the other hand, are less formal norms that arise from traditions. They are a mode of thinking, feeling and acting, common to a group of people. Example of folkways are the etiquette and dress code of a certain society. Unlike laws, they do not result in punishment when violated. Norms, laws, folkways and other means that regulate human behavior give rise to what is called social system. A social system is an organized or patterned set of relationships among individuals and groups of a society. It is a formal organization of status and role. In it, each member is assigned a social role which are actions and behaviors expected of a certain individual, like for example, hard work is expected from a father, care for children from a mother, and obedience to parents from a child. Moreover, members of society who share the same backgrounds or perform the same social roles are grouped together into social groups or classes. Social groups that perform vital functions in society such as family, government, religion etc. are called social institutions. Another very important way society shapes human persons is through social values. Social values are actions and ideals that are considered important by society, such as respect, cooperation and obedience to the law. Still other aspects of society that help form human persons are religion, language, history, etc. All these point to the fact that society recognizes in its members the capability to develop as human persons. As such, it provides them with the opportunities and means to achieve it. To recap, society is generally defined as an organized group of people, whose members interact frequently and have a common territory and culture. To explain its origin, modern philosophers propose the social contract theory, according to which, society is a contract an individual enters into with other human beings, in order to achieve a common good, such as survival, peace, or well-being. Throughout human history, there have been at least seven forms of society, the hunting and gathering, the pastoral, the horticultural, the agrarian or agricultural, the feudal, the industrial, and the post-industrial. Now just as individuals can influence society's progress through their actions, so society is able to influence their development as human persons. One of the fundamental ways society does this is through norms, such as laws and folkways. Norms and other means that regulate human behavior give rise to social system, which is made up of social roles, classes and institutions.
Other ways through which society helps form human persons are social values, religion, history, etc. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like, follow us on social media, and subscribe to our channel for more related content. Also, if you want us to make a video about a specific topic, please let us know in the comments section. Thank you, and see you in our next videos.